introduce myself as a former correspondent of Deccan Herald, Bangalore, which is where I started my career as a journalist. I am now a politician, but I used to work for Deccan Herald and I used to work for Telegraph and Sunday as, as a correspondent from Bangalore. So this is my home. I happened to fight elections in Uttar Pradesh, but this is my home and that is why I was very concerned to see what is happening and, uh, Before you even ask me a question, I want to tell you, I am very, very impressed with what is being done here. You have visited many places and I'm sure you have seen many COVID centers. Now that you have come to this place and I'm sure now you liked it, however, how would you rate this place? So now, one being the lowest and ten being the I would rate. I would rate it 11. And I will tell you that I am so inspired that in my own in my own place of Farukhabad in Uttar Pradesh, I am intending to do something very similar. I have a small rural health centre, but it does not have piped oxygen. And I am hoping one of these days to get an oxygen plant. And I will probably request Asif Bhai and others here from these organisations to help me to come there and help me to set up a centre like this. It is so impressive. And it is so beautifully and done. Since you know, and everybody is aware that BJP government is a failure government. However, what is that Congress is doing right at the moment? And what message would you give for Congress party, especially during this pandemic situation on the upcoming? Look, government? I have no hesitation to say that the Congress party has, in this time of crisis, I'm afraid the BJP has has come out in a very poor light. And this is all around all around the country. And the Congress party has come forward, come forward in such a way, you know, Mr. Srinivas, who's the Youth Congress president, he actually happens to be from Karnataka. He is doing such an amazing job, amazing job. I wanted some, some oxygen cylinders for my center. Within one day, in fact, half a day, he sent me 25. Because you know, in the mohallas, in the villages, these facilities are not available. So by the time people are coming to the hospitals, it's too late. And that's what we are doing. And this, I have to be very clear, this is all being done at the instance of Priyanka Gandhi, who is so concerned about what is happening, that uh, that you know every day she's monitoring what is happening, and this is what we are doing. And as a token, I have presented from my from the Doctors Akhilosen Memorial Trust, which I had, uh, I have presented uh, some four oximeters and four infrared thermometers and 16 uh, uh, N95 masks. Just as a token, obviously you need much more, but as a token to tell you that everybody, if everybody gets involved, if everybody puts their their uh, hand forward, then we will be able to beat this this disease. You That literally as we were turning, turning in from Tannery Road, I've already sent a message to Priyanka Gandhi about your center. I've already sent it and if you want, I can read it out. On my way to visit an oxygen center and clinic, set up in a very poor area of Bangalore by a few NGOs and Congress workers, presenting them with oximeters, infrared thermometers and N95 masks. So she like to contribute to this COVID center on behalf of your team or Well, they'll have to tell us what they want. I mean, what I had with me, because you have to remember that I'm based in UP, but what I had with me, what I brought here, is what I have been able to present to you. But obviously, if there's anything else that is needed, I will be able to help. We will speak to people and try and help you. But from what I see, I don't think you need any help. Everything is beautifully done. Everything is very well appointed. But the grass on the other side is always green. Well, I, I no, no. I mean, I'm very impressed with what's happening. जो वक्त दिया है मैडम और लास्ट सिक्स सेवेन डेज से जो बातचीत चल रही है कंटिन्यूसली इस सेंटर के पर जो डिस्कस हुआ है और जो मैडम जो मैसेज कन्वे ऑलरेडी जो कांग्रेस पार्टी को कर कर हैं मैं उसका शुक्र गुजार हूँ और मैं मैडम जो है एक के बारे में एक छोटा इंट्रोडक्शन दे देती हूँ मैडम जो है एक डॉटर मिलवा है हमारे गवर्नर साहब जो खुशीद अलम खान साहब थे और उनके जो खाविन जो हैं एक वेरी सीनियर मोस्ट जो है एडवोकेट हैं सलमान खुर्शीद साहब एंड वेरी क्लोज एसोसिएट विद कांग्रेस पार्टी और मैडम की बहुत सारे मेजर कंट्रीब्यूशंस हैं इन फॉर द सोसाइटी और एक चीज़ मैडम और कोविड केयर सेंटर के बारे में जो बात चल रही थी मैडम के बारे में उनके स्टेप जो लिया है मैडम मैडम की ख्वाहिश है कि हर मोहल्ला हर वार्ड वाइज जो है हर एम हर कांग्रेस में करे काम करें नेशन वाइड में जो है ताकि लोगों को जो परेशानियां का जो मामला जो फेस किए कोविड में ये सब क्लियर होकर जो है यूनिटी से मिलकर काम करे तो ये वी कैन फाइट फॉर दिस पैंडमिक करके मैडम का जी हाँ तो नाउ 
Yes, yes. Yeah, so, what are you accepting? Is it in the exam? Uh, see, ma madam, the first thing we have to thank madam is that uh, the huge. Uh, she is a big giant from Delhi, and she has stepped down to Mohalla. So this is the work what we have to do, uh, and uh, the suggestions and uh, it is my request for the Congress people also. To step down in a mohalla where we can see what is going on in the, this kind of uh, the problem what people are facing here, and and it is an inspiration uh, so that uh, uh, the uh, people will follow, uh, the Congress party will follow uh, the instructions of the madam. Next, we will see the, how the madam she has stepped down from mohalla. She is seeing that the problems of what is going on in the mohalla, and it is a good message that what madam is conveying that she is here. Uh, she is not ordering and uh, uh, instructing the Congress party and the people, but uh, she came here as to work along with us. So, All the way from yeah, yes, from Delhi. 